welcome friends in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory myself mrs urmila ravindra gowdi i am from in quality assurance today we are going to deals with identification test experiment number 18 title of the experiment to perform and report identification test on the given sample of ampicillin trihydric as per indian pharmacopeia learning objective after watching this video student will able to learn intellectual skill to understand the concept of the experiment to analyze and interpret the observation then motor skills ability to write systemic analytical report ability to handle equipment take and record observation ability to refer standard literature and indian pharmacopeia now let's with let's start with concept proposition first organoleptic description in the information the respect of nature odor and taste of the drug proposition 2 that means solubility statement of solubilities are indicated by descriptive terms and are intended to apply to at 20 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius the following table indicate the meaning of the term used in the statement of approximate solubility that means this is the description and this is the approximate volume of the solvent in milliliter per gram of solute if the description said that it compound is very soluble that means it is soluble in less than 1 ml of solvent freely soluble that means from 1 to 10 ml of solvent soluble from 10 to 30 ml of solvent sparingly soluble that means 30 to 100 ml of solvent slightly soluble that means it is soluble in 100 to 100 1000 ml of solvent very slightly soluble means 1000 to 10000 ml of solvent and insoluble or practically soluble more than 10000 ml solution is required then proposition 3 identification test these are the tests to verify that the article being examined is in accordance with the label on the container a failure of an article taken from the label container to meet the require requirement of the prescribed identification test indicate that the article may be mislabeled or substituted these tests are not necessarily sufficient to establish absolute proof of identity proposition 4 pharmaceutical category pharmaceutical category of the drug deals with its pharmaceuticals and medicinal uses like antibacterial general concept first of all we have to perform description of the drug then solubility in the front solvent and identification test as per it then after identification test we got result whether sample is complies or does not complies the test as per ip apparatus require glasswares thyl tube test tube capillary chemicals alcohol chloroform fixed oil ninhydrin reagent ether and potassium cupric tartrate now for actual step wise procedure we move towards laboratory welcome dear friends in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory today we are going to perform identification test the title of the experiment is to perform and report identification test on given sample of ampicillin trihydrate as per indian pharmacopeia so let's start with actual step wise procedure for performing the identification test of ampicillin trihydrate now start with description it is white color powder crystalline powder and almost odorless that means it complies the test as per ip now start with solubility test we have to perform in different solvent first of all solubility in water for that we have to take approximately 0.2 g of sample then add water shake it vigorously and check the solubility ampicillin trihydrate is slightly soluble in water now next we have to perform solubility test in alcohol take sample and add ethanol and check the solubility
Ampicillin trihydrate is insoluble. Now check solubility in pig's oil. For that we have to take sample and add pig's oil. Here we have taken castor oil. In pig's oil it is practically insoluble. Now check the solubility in chloroform. Take sample and add chloroform. It is insoluble in chloroform. Now check solubility in ether. For that we have to take sample and add ether. And check the solubility whether it is soluble or not. In ether it is insoluble. Now check solubility in dilute acids. For that we are taking dilute HCl. Take sample and add dilute HCl. You check the solubility. After addition we have to check vigorously. It is slightly soluble in dilute acids and now last we have to check solubility in dilute sodium hydroxide solution ampicillin is soluble in sodium hydroxide solution now let's start with identification test let's start with procedure First of all, test A, we have to place 0.1 ml of 0.01% wet by boiling solution of mean hydrine. This is the 0.1% solution of mean hydrine. We have to take from this 0.1 ml and place over the filter paper. In this filter paper, is dried at 105 degree celsius in hot air room. first we have to start hot air room and then adjust 105 degree celsius temperature so that internal temperature will be 105 degree celsius after uh, internal temperature becomes 105 degree celsius at that time we have to put this filter paper into the hot air room and keep it for 5 minutes now temperature is 105 degree celsius now we have to put this filter paper containing 0.1 ml of 0.1% wet by volume solution of mean hydrogen into the hot air room put it into hot air oven for 10 to 15 minutes so that it completely dried. Now after 5 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we have to remove the filter paper. It is completely dry. On that we have to add 0.1% wet by volume solution of our drug, 0.1 ml. Solution is required and it is superimposed on the solution of 0.1% Linitrin solution. Again, this filter paper we have to dry it for 5 minutes in hot air at 105 degrees Celsius. And after 5 minutes, we have to observe the observation. Now, after 5 minutes, we have to remove the filter paper. And this is the observation.
reddish violet color is produced on filter paper we have to uh, add it on this first 0.1 percent 0.1 ml of 0.1 percent nitrogen solution and so it is superimposed with 0.1 ml of 0.1 percent our given drug then the result become reddish violet color is produced now let's start with test b for that we have to suspend approximately 10 mg that is 0.01 gram of sample then add 1 ml water and 2 ml of mixture of 2 ml of potassium cupric alkaloid solution and 6 ml of water this is the mixture of 2 ml of potassium cupric alkaloid solution and 6 ml of water from that we have to take zero, uh, 2 ml of this mixture After addition of this mixture, magnet of violet color is immediately produced on addition. Now, result the given sample of ampicillin trihydrate complies the test for solubility. That means it is in water slightly soluble. In alcohol practically insoluble, in pig soil practically insoluble, in chloroform it is insoluble, in ether it is insoluble and in dilute acids and alkali hydroxide it is soluble. That means it complies the test as per ID. And next identification test, test A and test B. Both are complied by the given uh, organic sample that is ampicillin trihydrate that means the given sample of ampicillin trihydrate complies the test A and B as per Indian pharmacopoeia. Okay. Now, after performing the practical, we deal with observation table. First, we had done description. That means nature is crystalline powder, color yellowish white and odor odorless. That means it complies the test as per IP. Then solubility. In water, it is slightly soluble. In alcohol, it is practically insoluble. In fixed oil, it is practically insoluble. In chloroform, it is practically insoluble. And ether, it is practically insoluble. And in dilute acid and dilute alkali hydroxide, it is soluble. That means it complies the test as per IP. And last, identification test. For test A, the reddish violet color is produced. And test B, magneta violet color is produced. That means it complies the test as per IP. Result, the given sample of ampicillin trihydrate complies the test A and B for identification test as per IP. This is the structure of ampicillin trihydrate and it is antibiotic. Thank you dear student for attending the session.